welcome to our tutorial. In this video, we will talk about the integration kit recently introduced by ThinkNX, which is a powerful tool that can be used to communicate with third-party systems. After configuring a ThinkNX project, all the elements available in the user interface can be used by the integration kit. For instance, a two-way communication can be established with other ThinkNX servers, and a wide range of services available on IFTTT. Another benefit is the possibility to communicate with other third-party applications such as hotel management. Integration Kit is not just limited to the user interface objects, but it also allows you to send commands directly to the KNX bus without any UI layer. The communication between third-party systems and the server can be done using the local network, or using ThinkNX Cloud to reach and control remote devices. Depending on the capabilities of each device, the integration kit permits the handling of multiple functions such as turning switches on or off, getting their feedback, or send and receive a dimming value. In addition, it is possible to control shutters movement and get their position, and launch or stop a scene. For thermostats, the integrator can read the actual temperature, manage the set point and modality, and enable or disable the temperature schedule. In a similar way, HVAC units can be controlled by turning them on and off and getting their feedback, and the integrator is able to manage the set point, modality and fan speed. Another useful command provided by the integration kit is to directly trigger a generic action associated with an endpoint, and send or receive values to an endpoint on a continuous range. The integration kit can be activated easily from the server's web page, by going to the ThinkNX Cloud section, and clicking on Enable Integration Kit. You will then have an integration kit key which will be used later in the application. It is very important to keep this key safe and not share it to avoid unwanted access to the server. Once activated, you can access the integration kit page from the server menu. From there, the entire project tree will be visible with all the objects and elements used inside the user interface. For each object, a set of commands are available to control it. You can choose to copy the local URL when there is no need to use the internet, or copy the cloud URL when the integration kit is used to control remote devices. For more information on the integration kit, you can visit our wiki page and check the related page from the left menu. For now, we will talk about how to use the integration kit to connect with IFTTT. It is a very powerful web tool that allows you to create conditional statements called applets, which can be triggered by events occurring in other web services such as Gmail, Amazon Alexa, Google Home, or even voice over IP services. The first step to integrate with this powerful tool is to go to the IFTTT website, and create an account. Then you can access my services from the menu, and link your account to every possible service. In order to use ThinkNX in your applet, you need to add the webhook service which directly communicates with our server. After following the instructions available on our IFTTT wiki page, you can now send information from your ThinkNX application to other services, or receive information to trigger ThinkNX events. As an example, I will show you how to trigger a KNX lab from Amazon Alexa. Start by creating your IFTTT applet by clicking on Explore and then make your own applet from scratch. The applet condition will be the voice command sent by the user, therefore it should be linked to Amazon Alexa service. Select say a specific phrase, and enter the phrase to be used in the voice command. The result of the applet should be linked to webhook service, since it is controlling a ThinkNX site. Select make a web request and log in to your server to get the URL from the project tree under Integration Kit. Select the correct light from the tree, and choose your on command. Copy the desired URL code, and paste it into your IFTTT applet. Make sure to change the content type as seen on the screen, and click on Create Action, then Finish. Now, if you say Alexa trigger kitchen lamp on, the command will be sent to the KNX bus. 
The exact same process can be followed to launch a scene from Google Assistant. The only difference would be to select Google Assistant service as the condition in your applet. Some other interesting examples would be to launch a voice alarm to your phone using Voice over IP, whenever a CanX event is triggered like opening a door. Or use the geolocalization to trigger a ThinkNX scene whenever you approach your house. Thank you for watching. If you require further information, please visit our wiki page or send us your support request on the links shown on the screen, and remember to subscribe to our channel for future videos.